Hello, and you are now tuned in to the only universe mode that met. Oh, relax, wait. relax. Yeah, I'm, I got into uh, my moment there. I thought this was Monday Night Raw, but um, this is. I, uh, I wasn't even ready to press the button. In all honesty. Wait, it's not recording. It is. Yeah. Oh, okay. It, it's oh, recording okay. now. Okay. All right. I, well, they don't know who we are. They might not know who we are. This I is, am they don't really see our face, Jesse. Yeah, they, they haven't seen our face. Well, they've seen your face. Yeah, if they, they haven't watched the other videos. They haven't sure. seen mine. I look like Tomasa Ciampa with the beard. Yeah, and I uh, look like Ricochet with the hairline. Yeah. It all, everything goes well. Yeah. But I am Jesse. <laughs> and I am Christian. And we just watched NXT TakeOver. Yeah, man. We uh, I haven't seen TakeOver in some time. I'm I've, trying to get back yeah, into, sw- to, into the swing of things, especially now that... We got such an audience with the universe mode that we do on the channel as well. Mm-hmm. I feel like we have to make more discussion videos about WWE right now. Yeah. And there's nothing better to talk about in real life than NXT. Especially that it just ended and honestly, it was one of the best NXT takeovers that I've watched in quite some time. It's not close for me, to be honest with you. And you don't watch as heavy as I do. Yeah, true. So true. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to beat NXT into Jesse's head. Because I love NXT. We're actually going to the NXT in Barclays April. for April, which is the Mania one. I don't know what it's called yet. I don't know if it's yeah, going to we'll, be called New York. Yeah, but we'll, we'll see. Whatever. I just <clears> buy the tickets. But uh, anyways, pretty damn good card. Mm-hmm. On paper, off paper, it turned out to be a hell of a show. NXT delivered like always. It had uh, two matches that were okay. But the other three matches that were completely amazing. So let's kick it off with the first match, Jesse. Yeah, man. We it got was, the War Raiders. It was my first time seeing the War Raiders yeah. in um, live action. And they went up against Undisputed. And honestly, War Raiders, I need to like put them... I need to push them in, in universe mode, bro. Because the camera. Honestly, the camera. Tell honestly, them, not me. Tell them, The not War me. Raiders in real life are the most athletic two big men I've ever seen in my life. Bro, I was telling you, it's so vice versa because the big guy, Hanson, is the is one that flies. The one that, yeah, exactly. And then Ro is, the, I mean, granted, he's huge, he's yeah. colossal, but he's he's not the bigger of the men and he's the muscle. Mm-hmm. He is the, he's the strength. It's completely astounding the type of dynamic them two have together, but Jesse, Undisputed Era, they're godly as well. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. But, yeah, keep it real. War Raiders stole the show. From yeah. entrance to the end of the match. Yeah, honestly, I even said to Christian, I was like, yo, why doesn't WWE do this? And, like, he completely agreed with me. And, honestly, that entrance in that game, like, in, in WWE 2K19, which we play for uh, you guys on our YouTube channel, that would be dope if they put that in the game, too. The, the thing is, bro, so that's what makes NXT special, is since they have these pay-per-views less often, mm-hmm. they have these special events less often, they look like they put production value within their events, and we don't ever see that with WWE, and that is the most frustrating part of everything. Yeah, yeah I could I could tell by just watching it. And I'm honest, honestly not even a huge fan like into NXT like you are, mm-hmm. to be honest. So I, mean, I, got my, I got my Lucha Underground shirt, baby, because we're going to talk about Ricochet real soon. But real quick, what you thought about this match? Uh, the Ricochet match? No, no, no. The, the first match of the day. Oh, War Raiders? Um, honestly, War Raiders like kind of brought the momentum into the show. Was it match of the night? No. Are no. You, you think Ricochet? And... Yeah, I think Ricochet yeah. and Gargano was match of the night. Okay. For sure. But the, the War Raiders in Undisputed brought the momentum into the show, got the fans excited for the rest of the night, and they delivered. And we got new champions in NXT, in the War Raiders. Yeah, so we always like... I mean, it was always a staple to kick things off with the Cruiserweights back in WCW. Mm-hmm. It is, like, perfect in NXT. Every show to just kick it off with a tag team match, it sets the bar so high, mm-hmm. and it just tells, like, all the other wrestlers in the back, like, all right, yeah. top that now. Yeah. And, like, we were, t- we were talking about while watching the match, like, just, we don't see that type of tag team action ever in the main roster. Nope. So to see it to kick off a show, especially when I show, like, a new fan like Jesse or, or a casual fan like Jesse... Mm-hmm. It's, it's it's always an amazing sight, man. You, yeah. you got 100% faith in Roger Strong when you see him and 100% faith, faith in everybody in that match. Yeah, I was I was curious to... When Undisputed came out, I was like wondering where Adam Cole was, but maybe we get to see him tomorrow at Royal Rumble. I would assume so. I honestly don't know if... Uh, I haven't been keeping up with NXT. I'm going to try to start now. Maybe so he's injured? I don't know. Maybe, maybe he is injured. I don't, I'm, I'm, not not, sure. I'm not too sure in our reality. But let's start with the next match, Jesse. The, match of, man. The, the match of the night. No, I'm talking about Matt Riddle. That's oh, not match of the night. You oh, know yeah. that. Oh, wow. That was the second yeah, match. Matt, Matt yeah, Riddle versus Cassie Sono. I'm not going to say it was a bathroom break, but it, it did its job. 
Yeah. Got Matt Riddle over. Mm-hmm. Had to do what it had to do. Cassie Sono, the, the guy he didn't is, look good. He never yeah. looks the best anymore. He's he's getting older. He's more out of shape as he ever been. Yeah. He has his moments here and there. Matt Riddle looks like he could be something. I don't know how I feel about mm-hmm. his character yet. It's a little he, he's weird. a weirdo. He got no shoes, yeah. no socks. Kind of like how he used to fight in MMA. Yeah. Like, he I just mean, had I'm the not, shorts on. I'm not too familiar with him in MMA. I did see him live before in an indie event, but it was like a weird even match. He was like only... Mm. I don't think it was even like any. It was only grapple moves. He couldn't do any like actual strike. Mm-hmm. It was some weird sh- stipulation behind it. Yeah, Mauro uh, Ronaldo said in the commentary, as I always listen to him, because he obviously makes NXT better with just w- with his voice. Mm-hmm. But um, he said that he trained with Eddie Bravo, like back in the day when he trained for MMA, and Eddie Bravo was um, Tony Ferguson's Brazilian Jiu Jitsu coach, and honestly, that like put like all the freaking excitement into Matt Riddle because. Honestly, if Matt Riddle becomes, like, uh, would you say he could become, like, a huge face of NXT? Triple H loves him. But Triple H loves everybody in the goddamn yeah. world, I feel yeah. like, sometimes. Really. Yeah. But honestly, I feel like Matt Riddle has a lot of potential in the sport. Uh, honestly, right now, everybody in NXT it just looks like they could hit the moon. Then they mm-hmm. hit the main roster and they're kind of just doing those down. Yeah. But yeah. Right now, everybody in NXT looks great, from freaking Matt Riddle to... Uh, Obviously, the champion Champa, Champa to freaking Dakota Kai, like he's making people that shouldn't look amazing, amazing, and mm-hmm. that's that's just what he's giving them a chance to yeah, live and, their, and he puts them moment. in beautiful stories and he puts them in storytelling matches, mm-hmm. which is something that we need in wrestling. Like mm-hmm. that stories makes the fights in our reality. Like yeah. watching the promo packages, we'll get to the promo packages yeah, from those, the last match. Those promos, were the promos were amazing. amazing. Speaking of the next match. Adam Cole, I mean Adam Cole, Ricochet versus Johnny Gargano. And honestly, these two probably had the two nicest outfits of the night as well. They brought out some um, some nice clothes. I would I would say so. I yeah, would, Ricochet's, yeah, I would say so. Rico, Ricochet's outfit was nice. Defending his American British. North American title for the first first time or um one of the it might, might be one of the very f- I think first the first time times. on pay per view if I'm correct. Oh okay, so um, first time on, on Takeover. Mm-hmm. And he came up short against Johnny Gargano, and honestly. Amazing match. Ricochet just loves to land on his feet and pull out everything <laughs> out of the chamber. I've been I've been a huge Ricochet for the longest. Like when I started watching Lucha Underground, that's when I caught like I knew of Ricochet, and mm-hmm. then I was like, oh, this is he went as Prince Puma over there. Yeah, that guy is simply amazing, Jesse. The guy, I mean, you said he he doesn't fail to never land on his feet, and that that's really what it is. Every mm-hmm. move, he he did one move where he jumped over the like turnbuckle. Yeah, and he. And he still tucked bro, his chin and rolled through. Yeah, bro. I don't know how he does it. He's probably the art, most athletic person in de- all of WWE. The guy should be a gymnast. If we're being real, yeah. there's no reason you are in a WWE ring. You should be a gymnast, bro. Like, go freaking, I don't know what it is, The when you've got to launch over the bar. You know what I'm talking about? When you vaulting. run and the vault. Is it? Vault, vault, I think. Vaulting. Vaulting. I'm not sure. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, the guy is simply amazing, and this was an amazing match, man. Yeah. This was... The, I, we asked earlier if the first match was the match of the night. This had to be match of the night. Oh, 100%. Because the storytelling, even what Gargano, like, don't know. I mean, he is heel, but he doesn't act like a heel. It's, mm-hmm. like, the craziest little, like, in the mix he's in, he pulls the... I don't what the mat back on the on the actual outside of the ring mm-hmm. looks like he's not gonna use it and ends up paying off for him when he does a suplex and then finishes the match off with his little like springboard DDT thing. Mm-hmm. And Ricochet lost. Yeah. I I honestly think he's just moving up to the main roster. Like, oh Ricochet. I think it might be time. Yeah. I, I mean why not? I honestly you the need guy to bring, was ready as soon as he walked. You in. need to bring that excitement into a SmackDown Live or into a Monday Night Raw. People love to see people fly through the air mm-hmm. and do. The the seven twenties, the four fifties, all that. Six thirty, bro. I what what is a six thirty? Uh, bro, I don't That's know. That's what time I wake up for work. Yeah, <laughs> literally a six thirty splash, bro. Get that shit out of here. But yeah, man, uh, amazing match. You you even said that that was the first time Gargano touched gold. How, yes. how, how did you feel about? Well, the that? first time he touched singles gold, he had yeah, tag team. That, gold. Yeah, that's what I meant. Because he won with Champa, of course. It all paid out, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. For now, let's talk about Bianca Belair, the girl who doesn't care with the very long hair. Who Morrow told me that they gotta beware. Mm. And in this actual real life, she didn't beat Charlotte Flair, only in the yeah. universe mode. But that doesn't count. That's not fair. Honestly, I'm I'm a I'm gonna be honest. 
uh, that match was kind of boring to me. Honestly, Shayna Baszler is a boring wrestler at yeah. times. Sometimes she like, but that's her style. That's she. She plays into the brute. She plays into like I'm going to tear your limb apart, mm-hmm. and I'm going to work on that limb for the rest of the match, so it's going to affect you. Kind of like Ronda. No, Ronda's exciting because uh, no, Ronda's, Ronda's exciting. more exciting than Shayna. Yeah. Yeah. No, Ronda. Ronda is exciting. But Ronda's still, still trying to tear your limbs off. Yeah, but that's you can say that with a lot of people. But the way Shayna fights, it's it's literally like so. It's like Randy Orton. Randy Orton's a pretty damn boring wrestler. Yeah, no, yeah, real. okay. Randy Orton okay. is a boring wrestler. Yeah, yeah, I could get that. But um, it was, it was, yeah, like it was an okay match. I thought this match and the Matt Riddle match was okay. Mm-hmm. That's what like didn't really push me over the edge about the takeover. Like the highs were always as high as takeovers usually are. Yeah. But Shayna Baszler and Bianca Belair, it started picking up at the end when Jessica mm-hmm. M- Maduke, M- Maduke, M- Je- Jessamine Duke. That's and that, the other girl. I don't, I don't know her name. Kafar. Yeah. Sh- Shafar? Something. Oh. Sign Kafar. They're, they're all fake MMA wrestlers, mm-hmm. man. They're, they're just as legit as Sonya Deville to me. Yeah, man. Bianca Blair hit the... I think it's called the K9? I Possibly. I don't, I don't remember what the name of the finisher is, but the before that, the ref went down as well, and then she went for the mm-hmm. pin... And then they both came out. She had she had the victory. She yeah. had she had the victory in the palm of her hands, mm-hmm. and she actually takes her first loss. But she didn't tap out after yeah. like three interferences. What it felt like. Yeah. She actually passed out. To I, I don't know how to pronounce the name of her choke. It's really just rear naked in all yeah, reality. It's a but they, they they pull out some names out there behind yeah. and yeah, yeah. the Kafira clutch and the Kafira choking. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know the, I don't know how to pronounce it exactly but yeah she didn't she didn't tell I mean she well, lost Bia- Bianca Belair did the whole I'm gonna get up and she broke it out the first time and then she tried to get up the next did time it again, and, then and then she just passed out passed out yeah so I mean it was a it was a great finish I love the storytelling even when NXT has matches that don't really hit the high of, the highest of the highs it still has like the, somewhat of storytelling the storytelling is all continue. that matters man yeah. and, and it's just like okay you could explain what happened during that match. Like this, there's, there's some matches that you could watch, and you cannot when it, when it's over, you cannot explain what happened. You can just say, yeah, um, Sheamus came in, hit the guy with a broke boot, and that's how bro kick, and that's how he won the match. Mm-hmm. And here you could say, yeah, it was a boring match, but the whole storytelling of Bianca Belair took her first loss by fighting. She broke out of the what Kafira clutch or whatever it's called, and then eventually she tried to break out of it again. Choke that, you know what I mean? You could yeah. add like, and it yeah, makes yeah. It, oh okay that happened because it just adds on to the next match they have down down the road. Yeah, wh- yeah. whatever happens down the road, whether it be Bianca against one of the other, other MMA, MMA members, or, yeah, yeah. I don't know, I don't, I don't know what it's gonna dive into next. But Bianca Belair taking her first loss, she actually caught uh, Shayna Baszler pretty good on the yeah the, yeah she used the, the hair legs. and she left a little little mark on her uh, that's crazy side of her, and, her and stomach. Imagine arguing with your girl and all, <laughs> bro, if a girl. Grows her hair out that long, I'm a little shook. I, I, well, I don't think my hair is real, obviously. Well, no, but if it is... Bro, she literally was running and like, oh, I, I got a spinning chair so I can do this. She, oh, shit, I got the curtains. <laughs> uh, she was literally running and she had a hold of her and she was like... Oh. Yeah, that's what it's it, crazy. She wouldn't trip over it. Yeah, yeah that, I've seen that, that that's too. crazy. But now let's get to the main event, Jesse. The main event... Tommaso Ciampa and Alistair Black. And this is where we I, I saw the promo package. And I was like, that is how you build a match. Like, I haven't seen NXT. I haven't seen one episode of NXT to build up to this pay-per-view. And watching that, I was like, all right, I need everything I need to know. The vignettes, the vignettes in other locations are the most beautiful things you could possibly Mm -hmm. do. Yeah. I don't know what it is about somebody in a garage just... (laughs) I'm going to hurt you. And I'm going to get my tech. Like, bro, that is just epic every time. And I don't, I don't know what it is. It just, I, it makes me want to just put a light under my face and yeah, give like a you, monologue. Like you just did. Yeah, but yeah. I want to just. I am, the king. Yeah, and do like your Mauro Ronaldo impression as well. Like scream into the camera. Well, and yeah, and then do one pop reference. Yeah. He he always. Yeah, so, yeah, so that's the whole thing. Mama Mia, scream as loud as you can. Have an aneurysm, and then <laughs> fill it with a pop reference or whatever. Yeah. That was as dirty as the game's lyrics to Kim Kardashian. Oh my god. That, that, that's literally like. The no, shit. no, literally. That's what he <laughs> that, says. That's Mario Ronaldo. Yeah. The oh, goal. man. But yeah, as far as the match goes, very slow pace in the beginning. Yeah. If we're going to be Very right. slow. I, honestly, it felt like 
about a 25 to 30 minute match. It, yeah, it was it was a long match. It's very slow paced, but that's how the main events go. Because yeah, again, it's a storytelling match. You can't have a 30, 20, you can't have a 20 plus minute match and have it at 120 percent the whole match. Mm-hmm. Got to start with a decent 40 percent and pick itself back up. Mm-hmm. And the whole story was. Tommaso Ciampa was taking out the leg of Alistair Black, his base leg, to get the black mass. Mm-hmm. So when he went to go do it, a couple times he stumbled. It came to the point where Ciampa low, he uh, did the same thing as Gargano, where he let the mat from underneath the the mat out, at the outside of the ring. He let let it show, mm-hmm. and that actually turned back to hurt him. Unlike Johnny Gargano, and yeah. Black was able to hit the two knees onto him. That was actually a cool spot. But at the end of the day, Ciampa retains fair, clean as a whistle, fair. Yeah. Honestly, he he uh, got out of the, what was it? Fairy tale yeah, fairy tale endings. Yeah, fairy tale endings. He got out of it two times. He yeah. hit him with a third, and then he hit him with a fourth. Or no, I think he broke out of the fourth, and then before the fourth one, and then he was gonna hit the black mask, and his knee gave up. Yeah, again. and then boom, and got then got caught right into the yeah. fourth one. And you you said before that you thought Gargano was gonna like screw I th- over I thought, Black. I thought he was gonna I thought he was gonna help, but then as I was watching the match, I was like, honestly, we don't want to see another Gargano Black match. Yeah. Like, how are they gonna extend this even further? So to have Ciampa win clean, maybe Black goes up. Maybe he's in the Royal Rumble tomorrow. Uh-huh. Oh, that'd be interesting. I, I don't. I honestly don't know. With that knee, though, I don't under. I don't know if it, he can. they could they could tape it up and call it. Well, fine. yeah. It'll, they'll, they'll be fine. Yeah. They'll be fine. He he won't win it though. No, no. I honestly, I, I, I brought it up that maybe if Shayna lost, she might have been in the Royal Rumble, and it would have been cool if she fought Ronda Rousey and won the Women's Royal Rumble and make that a story, and then yeah, that's a huge like out of left field. Oh, man, yeah, that 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 would be dope, and especially if Ronda got to go away for a second because she wants to have a family. Yeah, if she passes the little MMA wrestler thing yeah. to Shayna Baszler while she's gone, and mm-hmm. then she comes back and they form that four horsewoman, bro, that could have been epic. Yeah. That, but not that, yet, not yeah, yet at she's, least. She's rumored to leave after Mania, though. So that gives us three more months of seeing Ronda. Yeah. And we sure. get to see Ronda at Mania, too, which I'm hyped about. I've never seen oh, Ronda man. ever. So. Mania's going to be fun. Mania's yeah. going to be fun. We're going to vlog that. So, guys. Yeah, we definitely got to We got to vlog that. We got to vlog the NXT we go to. As far as that Ciampa Black match, it picked up, became really good storytelling, a really solid, really good main event. You think they'll go at it again down the line? Unless I think they probably kind on just a, maybe on, if they do, it's gonna be on an NXT taping. It's not yeah. gonna be like on a main event. Honestly, looking at it now, what could the main event be for the takeover we go to? I could not even tell you. And neither can I. Maybe maybe if Ricochet stays, maybe he goes for the the world title. I yeah. I I, don't, I honestly couldn't tell you. Or it could maybe be. Oh no, they did Chomp and maybe both. maybe Adam Cole. Adam Cole hasn't yeah. got a real shot at the but that but he's a heel. Chomp is a heel, yeah. so it gets real tricky. They it already did Velveteen. Out. They're running low on people to to go to, so mm-hmm. I have no idea what could possibly be next for yeah. Chompa. And plus, and plus, April's like in three months, right around the corner. Honestly, That's when they maybe do the maybe, maybe it's Gargano. Up. Maybe. Maybe they got three months to build. They got damn near three months to build, yeah. and they take their time and they know what to do. Mm-hmm. So I got complete faith in NXT. Week in and week out, they I, I got all my confidence. Like honestly, when when I bought the WrestleMania tickets, I was like, all right, I gotta buy these NXT tickets just in case Mania is trash. Yeah. So at least I go there and I'm like, all right, at least I got the good show too. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because uh, last year, I remember you said literally this WrestleMania. You said this last year. WrestleMania on paper is last the year, best yep. year that Vince McMahon has ever put a WrestleMania together in years. And it was Bro, one of the on worst card, WrestleManias ever. A- absolutely. I- on yeah. card, Cena vs. Taker. Reigns vs. Lesnar 2. Styles vs. Nakamura. Um, Daniel Bryan came back and returned. Even if it was in the... I think it was a tag team match. Even mm-hmm. if it was in a tag team match. Uh, doesn't the matter. The Miz, Seth Rollins, and Finn Balor. Yeah, that, that, that's great pretty match. damn cool. They had so many great potential matches. I don't know what Kevin Owens was doing. What was Kevin Owens doing? Chris Jerk. No. No, not, not that WrestleMania. What was Kevin Owens? I have no idea. Don't remember. Doesn't matter. But yeah, NXT TakeOver ended with Ciampa and then the watermark, the logo, and then Gargano in the corner coming out and celebrating damn near what Ciampa. They Mm -hmm. both raised their titles up. And that is the new state Mm -hmm. of NXT. NXT. 
And that's not the first time where we've seen that logo and Champa and Gargano. They always do that. They always do the something. fake out. They they love doing the fake out, and I love watching that yeah. fake out. Yeah. I'm waiting for the one day when they go black, and then they just come back, and it's like somebody's and scrapping or, or something like that, or like a new debut in the corner. Or, I'm waiting for it. NXT is so creative with everything they do, and I really sound like I'm sucking NXT, but maybe yeah, I, I mean I'm a casual fan, and I noticed that they put in way more effort into <laughs> NXT than Raw or SmackDown. Like I could confidently say our universe mode is better than WWE. I don't know if I confidently confidently say that about NXT. Mm-hmm. So, well, guys, thank you for watching. If you guys do watch our universe mode. Check that Hell in a Cell dropping Friday, whatever that date is. I don't know. This comes out on a Sunday. It'll be dropping Friday. Check that out. We are going to record that tomorrow. You down to do a Royal Rumble review tomorrow? Yeah. Royal Rumble review coming shortly after Rumble happens, probably the next morning, because I can't edit and render and upload. And like, you know, I'm going to freaking die. I got to yeah. work at 7 a.m. Man. But I'm going to try my hardest. I'm going to try my hardest for you guys. I appreciate all the support. And if you guys do like these videos, like, comment, share, subscribe, and let us know if you want more. Jesse. Yeah, I, got I don't know how to outro this because yeah, I got I'm nothing not, else I'm to not, say. I'm not used to. If you guys tell if, them to ring the bells, I don't if, know. Yeah, ring the bells. Make sure you check out our universe <laughs> mode. If you guys didn't watch NXT Takeover, what are you waiting for? Check it out. There you go. Yeah, for real. We don't want to obviously ruin the the matches and the results for you. So watch NXT Takeover, and then watch this video. I'm short. Subscribe to the channel or we will find you and like the video.